All right. Uh, in the meantime, we're following up on this Canadian diplomat detention that was adding to tensions. You might recall uh, that there was a big fuss here o over exactly how the Canadians were going to respond, first off, to the detention of one of their uh, top officials taken in by the Chinese. Some saw that as a tit for tat over the handling of uh, Wang Wenzhu, the Huawei CFO, the daughter of the founder, who was released on bail yesterday in Canada. Uh, there is some concern in Canada uh, that this uh, former top official in, uh, in China, who resides in Canada, is still being held by authorities there. So this is not a done deal. Let's get the read from former Bush 43 Deputy Assistant Defense Secretary Peter Brooks. Uh, you know, Peter, all this occurs concurrently with, with what concessions we're seeing the Chinese make on a number of fronts in the trade area. What do you make of all of this? Well, there's definite signaling going on, right? There's, there's messaging going on to the Canadian government, to the Americans. Uh, this is maybe a little bit of good cop, bad cop, see what they can shake loose in terms of the trade issues, in terms of this uh, potential indictment of uh, the Huawei CFO in the United States, the extradition from Canada. So it's a very complex situation, a lot of communications going on, and uh, the Chinese are trying to move it in their direction, if possible. So... Uh I'm wondering, this Canadian official who's still being held, uh, right. you would think there would be a sort of a mutual disarmament here. The, 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 you know, the Canadians allow uh, the CFO to post bail. Um, there's no indication that, that she can or cannot leave the country. But let's say she can. There's no way she's going to be looking at any potential prison time or punishment. But the Canadian guy in China stays. What do you make of that? Well, my, my understanding of the reporting, Neil, is that she cannot leave Canada, uh, that she has an ankle bracelet, okay. uh, and they've taken her passport, so she cannot leave Canada until her next court date, which is, in, I believe, at the beginning of February. Now, in terms of the, the former uh, diplomat, the Canadian diplomat, I've, the reporting I'm seeing now, and it may not be the most up-to-date, is that the consular, Canadian consular officials have not been able to access him yet. Uh, and he's still in detention by the Chinese security services. So that may change uh, in the coming future. But, you know, we have to look back. Historically, we've seen the Chinese uh, take citizens uh, and use them as leverage to advance their, advance their interests. And there's even talk that the U.S. State Department may issue a warning, and I say may issue a warning, regarding travel to China for American citizens, uh, perhaps because of these tensions. You know, uh, it is interesting about uh, how the Chinese, and I know you have to work in, in, in separate fields and compartmentalize this, but the Chinese are making good on a lot of promises they had, had, had made. And of course, now they have to make long-term good on that, that old Ronald Reagan line, trust but verify here. Mm -hmm. Do you think they can and they will? Well, look, this is very tough. The Chinese have had their way for a long time on these issues that, you know, we uh, tr have tremendous concerns about. Market, market access, uh, you know, World Trade Organization violations, support of a state-owned enterprise. I mean, Neil, look, 40 percent of the Chinese economy is state-owned enterprises, and they get subsidies uh, from the government. Intellectual property, cyber, there's a lot. There's a lot of heavy lifting there. I mean, you know this better than I do. You're a business guy. Uh, you, know, you know this better than I do, but, you know, somebody who's looked at China for a long time, uh, there's a lot of work to do, there's a lot of work to do here to get China playing by the rules that the rest of us play by. You know, timing is everything, but don't you find it odd that every time there's a potential foreign policy or foreign economic uh, story triumph for this administration, gosh darn it, it occurs on the exact same day and moment we get either a sentencing, uh, in this case, the Michael Cohen, or some new news drips out on uh, the, the Mueller investigation. It's uncanny. Well, I, I don't know. That's kind of out of my lane. Hear, it's not foreign no, policy. I'm using aloud, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Sometimes you should keep your that. thoughts in your head, <laughs> which would probably be wise advice for me. But, uh, Peter, thank you. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Neil. Same to you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.